of great West Indian fast bowlers, he was the greatest. He bowled superbly on wickets the world over. He played with great intelligence and had a wry sense of humor. Brutally fast and ruthlessly accurate, Malcolm Marshall is one of ESPN's legends of cricket. Headingly Leeds, 1984. Malcolm Marshall smashed his left thumb while fielding. It was assumed he would take no further part in the game. But not only did he bat, he bowled in devastating fashion. And he's gone, caught and bowled with one hand. I remember when he broke his hand at Leeds and, and we thought that he, they thought that he wasn't going to play. And I said, well, hey, would you like to play? And he, and he was surprised that I'd asked him. And um, he said, yes, I will. And he's gone this time. Inside edge, I suspect, Marshall has seven wickets. His best ever figures in Test Match Cricket, seven for 53. And it just shows you, the, you know, the type of spirit that we had in those days. I mean, could you ask one of these guys with a broken arm to play? I mean, it, you know, but um, that's what, that's what we, we were all about. We were very good professionals, very good family, and we wanted to win. Marshall was not tall for a fast bowler. Rather than being a drawback, this allowed him to skid the ball through to batsman. And that was a bouncer which hurt him. When you have that sort of pace, when you have the kind of skill that he had, moving the ball in both directions and the variety that he had, you are bound to be a great fast bowler because of the hard work that he put in. And that was Malcolm Marshall. Great skill, great control, lots of hard work. There was nothing that could have stopped him. He bowled a slippery, skiddy bouncer, caused most all batsmen problems, could swing it at a high pace. Uh, on this day, he was unplayable. Oh, and uh, first ball, Malcolm Marshall has ripped the Yorker right through him. He ran through the crease with lovely fluid action, and uh, he generated a great deal of pace, and he was a skidder. And a lot of the tall guys will hit the pitch and rear it up at you. But Malcolm skidded it from there, and you weren't quite sure if it was coming there or there or there. And uh, a very dangerous bowler and a very, very good one. An average of 21, amazing stats, and he's hurt everyone. He can hit you in the head and hurt you, then he'd come up and bowl nice little out swingers or in swingers. He had all of it. I think if he wanted to bowl leg spin, he'd be great at that. Beyond his raw ability, Marshall had an exceptional cricketing brain. Ruthless, that's what he was, and you knew that when you played against him, that he was ruthless. Um, but a lovely guy off the field. Um, would talk about bowling, and I was lucky enough uh, one night in the Caribbean to be listening to him talking at the bar you know, about when he first found out about reverse swing. He just literally held the ball one way and it started to go, and within three balls he knew what the ball was doing. Marshall had it all. He was a, he was a sensational bowler, and when you think that uh, West Indies in the 1980s had so many fast bowlers to choose from, to be able to to point at Marshall and say unequivocally that he was the greatest of those quick bowlers is the best thing you can say about him. He was just head and shoulders above so many of his contemporaries. I must say that he he had a very economical run up, and for this very lopy sort of economical run up and slight wrong foot action, uh, he was uh, furiously fast and very deceptive as well. And he's bowled him. I thought he was a complete fast bowler, could do everything with the ball, you know, in swingers, out swingers. If, if it wasn't swinging, he could seam it off the deck, you know, he was just complete, he had good pace. And I think above all, he was smart with it, you know, so um, that's why I give him the edge above everybody else. Well, there's the stump, that ball hitting the middle stump, Martin Crowe's middle stump. One of the complete bowlers of all time. I've read a lot about the great Dennis Leary, one of the greatest bowlers of all time. But in my book, I pick up a bowler who was the greatest of all time, it has to be Malcolm Marshall. That's LBW. And Malcolm Marshall has now taken his 300th 